now we've transformed into where this is a place where we can go with our families and live all year long. We can have obviously tax benefits for living in the state of Florida, but we also can take advantage of educational institutions uh, like we have in Coral Gables and now some coming, you know, even to Miami and Northern Miami. Dream Home Hunter Deep Dive. All right, thanks today. I have sitting with me, Darren Tanzi, Executive Director of Sales, Douglas Elvin. Thanks for sitting with me a little bit, Darren. Hey, good afternoon. Good to see you. Thank you. People that know, I'm familiar with you because a few years back, I think I saw one of your properties. I think it was in Ocean Drive back when we still got that magazine here around here and uh, got excited about the different properties and things you had when I first got into real estate. And then as I transitioned into real estate from tech industry and food service, um, you know, I'm a big fan of Tony Robbins and he talks about modeling people who are successful. And uh, so... I started following you guys on social media and seeing your progress and everything that you've done. And, you know, like when you're playing golf, you can play golf with people who are worse than you doesn't do any better. So you want to do people who are better. <laughs> and uh, everyone around here would be like, if they all have the same swing coach, you want to get, get a better coach, you go to the coach's coach. And that's how I feel that you guys are, especially down in Florida. You want to get, get to be a better, better golfer. Don't golf with me. <laughs> I'm be the guy that's wanting, wanting to find the better golfer. So. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. And uh, I know you're from, Iowa, uh, you're from Iowa, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, in the southeast corner. You're right. How did you get from Iowa to Miami Beach? You know, I went, uh, I was in Chicago first before I actually uh, came down to South Florida. I went to school in a uh, smaller university called Western Illinois University, which is just on the uh, other side of the uh, Mississippi River than Iowa. Uh, transplanted up to Chicago after that, started working uh, with uh, Johnson & Johnson. I was in pharmaceutical sales. And uh, great career, uh, you know, great, great training and, you know, true foundation, I think, from my uh, standards of uh, a professional of who I am today. Uh, but I also I realized that uh, that I didn't like the snow and I didn't like the cold <laughs> for the first 30 years of my life. I never liked it. So I uh, found my way down to South Florida, some family in Lauderdale. And uh, here I am in Miami Beach. I've been down in South Florida for 15 years now. All right. Fantastic. And then uh, besides, like I said, we're both Midwest guys. You got some core manners there. But what do you think are some of your abilities from your past experiences to help serve clients now as a licensed realtor? I think it's, uh, you know, and down here in South Florida, you know, some very simple fundamentals that it's, it's not rocket science, but it just doesn't happen. And that's, you know, being honest and being true to who you are, um, understanding that the people that come and trust you with their business uh, and their life, their whole livelihood um, has to do with with a responsibility that uh, we all should take very seriously on a day to day basis, mm -hmm. um, you know, but not take ourselves too seriously. We're, you know, we are professionals and we should be proud of that. But you know, at the end of the day, we're, we're not saving lives. We're selling boxes, right. some big boxes, some small boxes. But, you know, within those boxes is uh, something very valuable. And that's the human side of it. And those are people's lives. So, uh, you know, being honest and true to who you are, it's uh, it's very important. Most definitely. And as you said, talked about boxes. I, I appreciate that because I watched your uh, webinar that you did last week on the, on the Miami real estate show with Orlando and just talking about how branding and the personalization that, that really hit home with me. So I appreciate going, breaking that down for us. So Miami has a lot of agents. How did you carve out a spot like in the top agent in the luxury market? You know, it's a, uh, it goes back to, I think your you know, core competencies and core values is, you know, understanding the selling process and uh, you know, not getting too caught up in, you know, the, uh, what I see some young realtors uh, stumble with and, you know, I see them stumble with, you know, looking for too much recognition and not focusing on the, what they do for a, a living and that selling and that is talking about features and benefits and that's listening to people and not talking all the time, understanding, you know, what people are in front of you for and, uh, you know, how you can actually assist them. You know, again, sounds simple, but, you know, all of those core values on top of a work ethic that means waking up in the morning, that means, you know, putting your big, big boy, or your big, big girl pants on <laughs> and, you know, not getting distracted by your environment right. um, and, and working very hard. You know, you don't have to be the smartest individual out in this business, but you, you should be the hardest working individual out there in the business because if you work very hard and if you have that work ethic chances are you will be successful and you'll learn on the way you know for those who feel that they don't need to do the aforementioned is you know i think they can find some stumbling blocks most definitely and i like you say that listening listening and active listening two different definitely two different things there on that aspect so and uh since i followed you on social media i saw when you partnered with eklan gomes what was some of the advantage of collaborating because you're already successful so what was the advantage of that collaboration you know you, you put yourself in a position to where 
you have that, that base level of success, um, and, but taking it to that next level to where you have a, a brand within a brand. Douglas Elm and the company that we work for is obviously a nationally recognized and uh, you know company that's been around for quite some time. You put Eklund Gomes on that and you're able to walk in the door and you, know, you have a solid team base of across the country of over 70 individuals. Uh, we have a, a, a celebrity that's out there that people know globally and you have a, a business celebrity in John Gomes in New York that's really behind the, you know, the Eklund Gomes, their partnership for over 14 years. Uh, we have a CEO that, uh, that you know, she's a powerhouse, Julia Spillman. And uh, we have $2 billion of sales just in 2019 alone between 70 plus people that uh, speaks volumes as we're walking in the door. Yeah, that's, that's highly impressive. And uh, for people that aren't familiar, including myself, because one place I want to visit, I haven't quite been there yet. What's, uh, what's a myth or a couple of myths people might have about Miami? Well, well, Miami is a is a sunny place for shady people. We're not all we're not all shady. <laughs> so, uh, there's a uh, you know there's, there's there's bad eggs in every city. Um, mm -hmm. Miami, you know, we have our uh, we have our myths. So right. it's, it, it's not all that bad. Most definitely. Uh, you know, what are some of the what are some of the good things? What are some of the benefits or highlights people want to be familiar with? And, and benefits is that you know this this city is going through a, a significant transformation. I'd say over the last five to ten years, from mm -hmm. you know what people used to know South Florida and Miami for specifically is this is the place where I want to go lay on the beach and where I want to go party and uh, go out to restaurants or maybe a few restaurants. Now we've transformed into where this is a place where we can go with our families and live all year long. We can have obviously tax benefits for living in the state of Florida, but we also can take advantage of educational institutions uh, like we have in Coral Gables and now some coming, you know, even to Miami and the Northern Miami. It's a great place for arts, education, uh, culture, like we had said. And, you know, we're literally two hours for, from so many different vast cultures and, and people and places uh, in the world. When, when you look at, you know, all of the hubs that where Miami could come from, it's not just a place to come and party. Uh, we have, you know, awareness. We have our architecture that's that's coming here, and it's just getting better and better by the day. Definitely getting better and definitely growing. And uh, you touched on webinar. You touched on the Rich Carlton residences. I know that you have exclusive sales and marketing. Douglas Elliman there. Um, yes. Can you mind telling us a little bit about that property? So the Rich Carlton residences is is right in the middle of Miami Beach. It was an adaptive reuse building to where they took a structure that had been there for a half a century. Again, right in the middle, it's on 47th Street to where mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's on a body of water called Surprise Lake. They carved out 110 residences you know, within this building and it's more of a horizontal structure uh, than, than vertical. Uh, we, out of that 110, there's 68 different floor plans which makes our building extraordinarily unique. Mm -hmm. And we have the brand of Ritz Carlton standing behind without a hotel component. So we have a true resort style living experience and lifestyle with a hundred plus year old brand, uh, five star right in the middle of Miami beach. Uh, it's, you know, there's nothing else like it. Um, there's only 13 of the concept in the world, uh, that is a true Ritz Carlton without a hotel. And, uh, you know, we have individuals that have looked at this building, uh, as a place that they can go for a second, third home, know that they have that level of service, but have that exceptional lifestyle that's quiet, that's reserved and really only minutes away from everything. Definitely. I'll try to get some pictures up also as I do our editing, but I know you have both all the way from what, one to five different bedrooms um, as far as residents go. Um, I saw square footage went from 1969 all the way up to 10,000 plus as far as yeah, square footage yeah, is great. Right. Our, our residences are fully finished uh, with uh, yeah, it's, it's a European flair. Our architect, uh, Pierre Lassoni, had come in and was looking for more of a tropical modern feel mm -hmm. to this particular building. Uh, you know, for that was really designed for life. Uh, mm -hmm. the, you know, the light that comes in from an architectural standpoint, how we're positioned uh, in the heart of Miami Beach, and the ability for those you know who like the nautical lifestyle to get on their boat, go through what's called Surprise Lake, and only be minutes out to Biscayne Bay and uh, and, and the same out to Open Ocean. Mm -hmm. Also has a on-site private marina. Is that correct? And I think it said like 36 different private boat box. So. Oh yeah, yeah. We have a, we have a half acre okay. pool deck uh, with a ninety foot pool that you can see the Atlantic Ocean and the sunrise in the morning, and you can look across Biscayne Bay and the city of Miami skyline and see the sunset in the afternoon. We have a restaurant, uh, you know, a full spa, of course, gym, uh, mm -hmm. club room, game room. It's uh, you know, it's, it's 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 quite the building. And you get the benefit of being on on site as well, so you're familiar, right? Not that bad. It's you know, <laughs> only my on site is you know, I've been selling the project since 2016. And uh, now the building is open. You know, we have residents that live here in Lovett, and I'm now one of the residents. So you know, <laughs> I, 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 I'm 
I, uh, I practice what I preach. <laughs> yeah, it does. You know it, know it intimately. And uh, we'll finish up last couple of questions. So if you could remove all barriers and constraints, who's a dream client you'd like to work with? You know, it was, a, it was an interesting question, and I had to think about that for a second. And, you know, the first person that came to mind was somebody that I, I admired greatly, and I think he's one of the visionaries and pioneers of all of our lifetimes, and that's Richard Branson. Richard Branson. You know, for, an in, for what he's done, not only from a technology standpoint, from a transportation standpoint, but just – you know, from an overall global standpoint, I think what Rick Branson does and, you know, the uh, the presence that he brings each and every time he talks, it's, uh, you know, it's quite an amazing guy. Most definitely. A friend of mine just got back on close to our markets down in Dallas and he's opened one of his Virgin Hotel concepts down there. He posted a couple of pictures. It looks fantastic. So definitely a visionary individual. And uh, I come from the food and service industry as well as tech. So I always like to end with a food question now that things are kind of opening back up. What's a uh, what place that you've been missing or place you're looking forward to eating that you've been missing lately? I can't wait. And you know what? That's that, that This is happening on Friday. Not that I'm counting the days or the minutes <laughs> now, but I'm a big fan of uh, Milo's. Milo's yes. is a Greek restaurant that started out, out in, uh, in Montreal. Uh, mm-hmm. They've now expanded to uh, a few other cities uh, in the country. Thank goodness we have one here in, uh, in Miami. I spend a lot of time at Milo's. I, I eat a lot of fish, and uh, <laughs> I will be there on Friday after playing golf. Oh, after playing golf. Okay. I want to make a note of that because when I make it down to Miami, that's definitely a recommendation. Got it, Milo. All right. Fantastic. Thank you, Darren Tansy, Executive Director of Sales, Douglas Hellman. Appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Good to see you today. Dream Home Hunter Deep Dive, a Keith Pratt collaborative.